buy tickets it's cheaper than a glass of beer. It was so painful. I thought that was just a penis of burnout. Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to Berlin Schönefeld Airport. I am uh, flying to Brno, which is like the second most populous city in the Czech Republic. Uh, I basically bought these Ryanair tickets for like 5 euros, so I said, I said to myself, oh why not? Just another flight path that I've never taken and I'll probably never take again. Perfect, so I made it through the security and now I will just have to be waiting and waiting. So let's go find out what this airport offers. Uh, fun fact, it was actually uh, more expensive than the flight ticket. So that's weird. Just go to the airport and the flight ticket is cheaper than a glass of beer. I love this world. Welcome to Brno. It was really unpleasant. I can recommend you something. If you have cold, don't risk it and fly because it was so painful. I thought I will pass out on the, during the descent. It was actually quite rapid, so maybe that was the reason. Anyway, um, I have no idea how to get to the center, so I will have to make a little research and get coffee finally. So. Let's see. So we've arrived at the main railway station in Brno, which is there. But it's currently closed, so when we will uh, when we will go um, back to Prague, uh, we will use another another station. Uh, it's like a gazillion degrees, so finally I'm actually uh, using uh, the sunglasses that I brought with me. It was like 10 degrees less in Berlin, I think. Um, yeah, so let's take a short walk throughout the city. We have like three hours, so let's see if it's enough at least for seeing some main sites. Let's go. So, welcome to the center. This is one of the two main squares here in Brno, like center of of the historical part of the city so what you can see here is this statue and I will walk a little well, that thing behind me is the old old town hall uh, which is where we are now headed um, we can climb up the tower for like 70 check crowns which is about two and a half euro and you have a very nice view of, of the city. So we're under the tower of the, of the old town hall. And what you can see there is the dragon of Benno, which is like this large lizard that well, its origin is actually unknown, but it's probably got somewhere here in the in the sewers. And ever since it's um, it's hung there on display. Interesting place. That way, which is the Brno Cathedral of Saint Paul and Peter. So. So this is one of the main landmarks of Brno, along with the Spielberg Castle. You can you can probably you can, you can actually see it from uh, most of the places around the city, and it creates the skyline of the of the city. Very nice. So go check out. So I will try to get uh, to some place where we have a view of the Spielberg Castle. We're not going up there because it's quite. Well, not far, but uh, but it's um, on a hill, and I also want to get some dinner here or um, actually lunch. So I think I will skip 
trip there, but I will definitely try to show you from some hill here. Yeah, let's go. See the streets of Brno. There's no wonder it is sometimes called Little Vienna, which is, by the way, located like two hours by train from here. So. Second central square of the city, uh, Freedom Square. New landmark of this square is now this thing, which is sometimes called like uh, the astronomical clock of uh, Brno. But it's like this Hola. clock machine, um, and it produces like this little ball. Once a day at 11, there's actually like the mafia that's collecting them, and if you try to collect them, then you may have a problem with them. And yeah, there was a lot of controversy about it because well, it's supposed to be a projectile from a, from a tank, but as you can see, it looks like a phallus. So basically, it's just a penis of Bernal. Google it, you will find this. But it's fun. So my train passed in a few minutes. So. It's still not there, but I hope it will arrive. Most of the trains here are delayed for like 80 minutes, so I'm still hoping. So I hope you liked Brno. Unfortunately, I don't think I have actually pictured it in the best in the best uh, light. Uh, on the other hand, I've been there several times, so it's quite hard to be so excited about everything like before the first time especially when it's when it's a city that is definitely not on top of my uh, favorite list on the other hand like I said it's nicknamed Little Vienna and for a good reason it's quite nice and if you're in the region like in the southern Moravia it's definitely worth visiting at least for half a day get some well it's in the Czech Republic but uh, they do not uh, prefer beer there but you can you can have some Moravian wine which is very popular there and yeah so anyway I hope you liked it I hope I didn't discourage you and now I'm I'm going for a beer with my friends here in Prague so talk to you on the next trip see you and of course if you liked it and if you don't want to miss any future content subscribe and uh, ring the notification bell this will be good for you and for me I will, I will, at least i will know that uh, someone likes it <laughs> have fun